Hi, and just, uh, today we are gonna discuss the steady state diffusion of A through non diffusing B and steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through B in the case of liquid. So let's begin. This is steady state diffusion of A through non diffusing. B in the case of liquid and then we'll see the steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through B in the case of liquid so basically we know that our general governing equation is Na is equal to N times Xa plus J A, where this J A is called as <coughs> this is self diffusivity flux <coughs> and this n times xa is called as influence factor so we can expand this equation now uh, let's call this our equation number one and we can expand this equation in the following manner so this is na is equal to na plus nb times xa plus the j can be written as negative dab dca by dz S keep in mind that we are considering the diffusion only in one direction that is in z direction and this is for the binary mixture a and b so basically what we have done in the steady state uh, diffusion of a through non diffusing b in the case of gases there we took an example of ammonia which was present in air and we wish to absorb this ammonia with the help of water so if this is treated our component a and this air is treated our component b then we treated nb is equal to zero in the case of the steady state diffusion of a through non diffusing b in gases in very similar fashion in the case of liquid we are gonna treat and b is equal to zero so this when we put and b is equal to zero in this equation we will get n a is equal to n a times this x a can be written as we know x a is equal to c a by c so this will be c a by c negative d a b d c a by d z and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna integrate this equation so in order to integrate we need to separate the terms so Na minus Na times CA by C is equal to negative DAB DCA by DZ and now if we take an a common from this term this will be 1 minus CA by C is equal to negative DAB dca by dz and now we know that any inside the bracket c minus ca by c is equal to negative dab dca by dz and if we multiply the both side of this equation by c so multiply both sides by the total concentration c so we'll get Na into C minus CA is equal to minus C times DAB DCA by DZ and now what we are going to do is if we separate this okay so this will be DZ times Na times CA minus C minus CA is equal to negative C DAB DCA so this will be DZ upon negative C times DAB which will be equal to DCA divided by Na times C minus CA and if you take this negative sign on this side then what we are gonna get is DZ upon C times DAB and this will be negative DCA divided by if you open this bracket so we'll get Na times C minus Na times CA 
and now we are going to bring this in the form of integration of f dash x upon f of x which will be equal to ln of f of x so what we are going to do is if we integrate this side from 0 to z dz upon c dab which will be equal to 1 over n integration from c a 1 to c a 2 this will be n a times negative d c a divided by n a times c negative n a c a and now what we are gonna do is this will be our z over c times d a b which will be equal to 1 upon n a and this term it will be ln of n a times c minus n a c a which will be from the limits c a 1 to c a 2 and as we are integrating with respect to c a we are gonna put c a 2 in the place of c a not in the place of c so z over c times d a b is equal to 1 upon n a ln of n a c minus n a c a 2 over n a c minus n a c a 1 so now z over c times d a b is equal to 1 over n a if you take n a by c to common so if you take this will be ln of 1 minus c a 2 by c can be written as x a 2 divided by 1 minus x a 1 so further we can simplify so 1 minus x a 2 is equal to x b 2 and 1 minus x a 1 is equal to x b 1 and now what we are going to do is if we do x b 2 minus x b 1 this will be equal to 1 minus x a 2 negative 1 plus x a 1 so this positive negative will get cancelled and we will get x a 1 minus x a 2 which will be equal to x b 2 minus x b 1 so what we are going to do is if you multiply and divide this equation by one uh, x a one minus x a two, so this will be z upon d a b times c. This will be equal to one upon n a, and ln of x b two by x b one, and we are gonna multiply and divide by x a one minus x a two over x a one minus x a two. So this will be z over d a b times c, which will be equal to one upon n a. This will be x a one minus x a two over, and this x a one minus x a two can be written as x b two minus x b one, and if you bring this term to the denominator, we'll get x b m, where x b m is equal to x b two minus x b one over ln of x b two over x b 1 now we can re rewrite this equation as n is equal to d a b c times x 7 minus x a 2 over z times x b m and in the case of the liquids this c can be written as rho by m average so n is equal to d a b times rho by m average and this is x a 1 minus x a 2 divided by z times x b m so we came up with this equation so the molar flux is equal to the diffusivity times rho by m average times the mole fraction x a 1 minus x a 2 divided by z times x b m so this was an equation for steady state diffusion of a through non diffusing b in the case of liquid now in the case of equimolar counter diffusion so if we take a case of equimolar counter diffusion equimolar 
counter diffusion of A through B. In the case of liquid, again we know our governing equation is Na is equal to N times Xa plus Ja, where J is self diffusivity flux, N times Xa is influence factor. So Na is equal to Na plus Nb times Xa negative DAB DCA over DZ. So in the case of equimolar counter diffusion, we know that Na is equal to negative Nb. So if you put this value in this equation, this whole term will become zero. So we'll get Na is equal to negative DAB DCA over DZ. And if we rewrite this equation, so Na times DZ is equal to negative DAB times DCA. And what we are gonna do is, we are gonna integrate this equation. So if we integrate this equation from okay and a integration of 0 to z dz is equal to negative dab integration from ca1 to ca2 dca so this will be na times z minus 0 z which will be equal to negative dab ca2 minus ca1 because integration of derivative of the function is the function itself means this will be CA from the limit CA1 to CA2 and when you put these limits we'll get this so we'll get Na is equal to DAB times CA1 minus CA2 over Z and now we know that xa1 is equal to ca1 by c and xa2 is equal to ca2 by c so we can rewrite this equation molar flux na is equal to diffusivity from a to b dab times this can be written as xa1 minus xa2 multiplied by we can take c common divided by z so Na is equal to DAB times XA1 minus XA2 over Z. And this C can be written at the denominator as rho by M average. So this is an equation for steady state equimolar counter diffusion of A through B in the case of liquid. And thank you for watching this video.